Hello and welcome to TMA Thursday. I'm Don't Put Him In A Free Kick, Will Daniel Dean. I'll keep with this story as they keep telling me. Also joined here by Paul as usual. I'll be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I did not want to do this podcast today. I really didn't because I'm still fuming over that bubble job the last 25 minutes. But I will let Paul talk about it because I'm already getting wound up. So I'm going to talk about Everton with Paul at the moment. I'll join in when he... Yeah, with it, so. right, okay, the short <laughs> version of the story, and I'll give the long version after, the short one of it is um, some of the, the positive side of it, I'm going to go to the positive yeah, side, and we'll do all that, the yeah. stuff, we'll dissect <laughs> and whatever, because we always dissect, we're often yeah, no, it's going with positive, it's right. um, positive, first 65 minutes, we were miles the best side once again, um, some of our football was some of, like you said, some of the best oh, football we've seen all season. Oh, ever. Um, <laughs> people say we don't go to many games, but we see them on the stream, <laughs> we see it on the live, we see it live as well. Evening, Ray. Um, and that was the best. For me and Dino, I agree with him, this is the best football we've seen for 65 minutes. We were all over them. Uh, that are coupled along with the Chelsea when we went 2-1 up at Chelsea. Some of the football was absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Um there wasn't really much that, I mean, from the guys that didn't actually go or didn't see it on a the stream, there wasn't really much that Everton did huh. in terms of pressing because we pressed from the front. Yeah, Bainsey had a go, um, yeah, which gave us a chance. chance to that was the yeah. only chance. It was a side foot effort from him. Um, and that was pretty much it for 65 minutes. But I said some of our attacking play, we knew that Kenny on the right hand side was going to be struggling yeah, against Richardson if Richardson was on it. Um, he had a really good game. Cle- I mean, he, the one player that really impressed me, um, Gomez pulled off two I mean, magnificent no, saves does. before he got yeah. injured. Those two saves were probably two of the best I've seen in the dual season. They, yeah, were, they were amazing. Brilliant. Especially the second one. Well, he had to be brave to get oh, down that's there. That's what got him Yeah. yeah. Um, but the one that really impressed me was um, Hughes. That's another positive because he was superb, but he didn't put a foot wrong, yeah. did he? Positive going forward. No, I was very impressed with if him. You take positives happy. out of it. That's definitely one of them. Yes. Um, once again, the fact that we played we played football away from our own ground and we outplayed the side that we're playing against, regardless of what league position they are, when they're at home, they were the ones that are supposed to be answering the playing questions. Playing the football we Playing were, the football, yeah. yeah. They should be the ones pressing, but they look nervous. We said as well, if we get an early goal, okay, it didn't happen. But first, the first, second half, yeah, the, first. the first goal, we got it early in the second half. And the problem is, though, and we're like, this is m- moving over to the negative side now, but the problem is, though, we you went 2 no up, and I know Surin had, uh, um, except uh, Surin will agree with this because he spoke to me in the week yeah. but we screamed all the way through you know all the way through the second half and it started <laughs> at 2-0 yeah. bring on a kaka we've got him on the bench defend from the front yeah. we play as a team that defends from the front you defend from the front when you attack so much Liverpool do it okay Man City, Man City do it in a much better way than we do yeah they do yeah, they but do. they play the same sort of ethos where if you're going to play a pressing expansive counter attacking atta- uh, you know attacking game you defend from the front yep, no, and the right. best way to take the pressure off your back line regardless of errors or whatever yeah, no, no, you, you put you hold the ball up front Gray with his work effort a work ethic as much as I applaud him for his shift he cannot hold the ball up as well no. as Dean in Akaka Akaka's on the bench you bring him on hold the ball up because the problem is though we didn't know what to do at 2-0 we no. lost and before in it, the capitulation technically didn't go, uh, start when Gomez went off because they were on the attack before oh yeah like, that's why we wanted Akaka on to and change the play and that's it and also they said right okay we can't play through Watford's midfield because they're pretty De- um, Decore and Cleverly were pretty much yeah, running yeah, it and Will Hughes were winning the ball getting first to the ball every time winning the yeah. second second balls so they said right we'll lump it Keane and Jagielka were just lumping no, it terrible, and the really. first main error well first main error from our back line apart from uh, Kinesis and yeah, the whole yeah, yeah. making a hash of that first goal was when they pre- they caught us and Gomez had to pull off two he fantastic and and that was the cut. point. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, we've seen it. We've seen it, and he didn't. You know, we know he asked him made it or whoever went. In no, no, he yeah, was entitled to go for that. Pull the it score. was a loose ball. He yeah, goes for the ball. Yeah, no. yeah, exactly. Um, but problem yeah. is, we can't just fold apart like that. Gomez to get injured again, and we're going to have the same bloody feeling when this keeper comes in. 
I'm not blaming the keeper for the defeat, by the way. I never blame. It's a team effort. No, it's, we get it's a squad. You never blame. Well, yeah. Never blame one person. Whether it, the first mistake yeah. was mainly his first touch, but you know, once if Gomez gets fouled again, we can have him in, and we, me and you talked about this trust. It didn't look like it was there. What's going to happen if Gomez gets another knock? He's going to have trust to come comes with games. Him. Yeah, it does. Um, you're brave. You're brave, more or less. Yeah. But a lot of people can get bravery with confidence if yeah. they're not as brave yeah, yeah. like the people that are not loud you get people that are loud yeah. on the pitch which classes as bravery because you're brave enough yeah. to think but also confidence brings with out the ball. With the ball. Thing, yeah but also confidence brings out you you're talking when you say yeah. someone's not a talker suddenly they get confident they well, start the, talking want the ball, yeah, or want they the want the ball, ball. yeah, yeah. confidence with a ball. midfielder yeah means they'll put in an extra tackle or they'll go for the ball or win that ball. And you can see Will Hughes had confidence. Oh, God, he was spraying it about. Kinesis's problem, and we said, one of this, one of these girls said on the bus is, because we cocked up against Bristol City, and this is not a complete... No, no they him. made a good point, she did. Right? She w it would have given him a few more games to bed in. Yeah. It doesn't mean that, you know, he should be a good keeper anyway. Yeah. I mean, the guy's half decent keeper, but he's Greece's number yeah, one, yeah. and Greece have got a reputation of making decent keepers. Um, this is not, like I say, he deserves the criticism because he made the error. If he plays, pulls off world-class saves oh, yeah. for us, like Gomez did, I would back oh, really? him up and say, look, fantastic, you know. Think, um, how, do we, how do I say this? Right. The first one, if it was, if it was Gomez... He would have come out and got it. He'd have got it. He'd been there. The communication, that was a communication point. It, the, with every player, yeah. it's a confidence thing. With um, When they always say, get your first touch out of the way. Get your first decent yeah, touch. No, that's right, yeah. You build on from that and your confidence, your tail's up, your confidence come and should really, on average, most people say, you should have a decent game after it. Cause you, yeah, like, no, or win the first header, stuff like that. I mean, that, we've yeah. all done it Sunday league. If, you have a, if, you, if your first touch is crap, yeah, you can have a long you're game. struggling, yeah. you're having a long game. <laughs> and the problem is that he's, his first touch was a complete hash between him and Holbass. Yeah. Okay. And it went in the net. And the, because of his, their indecision, both of their indecision, yeah. I mean, with the, most people would turn around and say, look, the keeper's dominant, should be dominant in his area. Yeah. There should have been a call. It was sort of a half, he probably, Holbass might have thought he had a call. Yeah. And he just thought, oh, Holbass is going to deal with it. But if yeah, Kinesis both, had called, yeah. that is purely 100% Kinesis. Yeah, we don't know the truth. We don't know that, that, don't so know that, so we can't say it's his fault. But, um, to be honest, like, you know, I said, yeah. Old Bash, like I said, not blame his, he might have got the call, Old Bass, but really he should have seen that as well and dealt with it. Yeah. Like I said, he might have got the call, it's hard if the keeper's calling for it, you're expecting him to get there, aren't you? You're yeah. expecting, but that poke was obviously a bit quicker. And Nias, Nias um, knew that they were going to love the ball after, and he yeah, fed on the ball. He read it, didn't he? Yeah. Nias is one of those players that's not technically gifted, but he, all, he, reads he, he gets play. in the positions, and he read the play, he read it. And is, as much as it was a, is a fuck up from us. Yeah. It was good reading by the. Oh yeah, it's professional. He, he took a gamble, didn't he? He yeah. took a gamble and it paid off, did it? Yeah, and they mm -hmm. they say we ain't got a striker. They ain't got a striker, but yes, um, on periods did cause us problems. He did. He he, he a striker. He's a worker though, and he? he did cause us problems. Well, it's, it's a bit be like Gray. Gray's a worker. Yeah, he's not You're a not, scorer. He's not a score he's thirty goals. He's never doing that. No, get about ten, I reckon. Best Gray will. He's a. Dean and Gray will get 10, 15 each. Yeah, if they play it every with, game. It's going to be with Charles and Maney getting the goals. I reckon Akaka are banging a few when he gets going again because he's going to be a useful. All right, uh, uh, another subject that really bugs me. We'll go who, back on the Everton later. Well, well, this is sort of to do with Everton. It's to do with yeah. other games. It's this, oh, me and you hate, I hate saying it. It's so bad. It's the zonal frigging market. Yeah. This gives me a headache. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why he does it. He seems to do it. At least we didn't accept it on the edge of the box. We seem to learn off of that one, thank God. Yeah. But we don't learn to mark at the back post where the second goal come from. Do with the keeper and the defence. It's 50-50. That's why I will not blame the keeper fully on the second one. It is my dad's, I spoke to my dad about that and he blamed the keeper fully because that was on the six-yard box and he said every keeper should be coming on the six-yard in there. You should be demanding. Cookie's that. saying that defenders, it, 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 there could be two ways of looking at this. Yeah. Defenders should be there to protect the keeper, but the keeper, the eight yard box is the keeper's domain. He That's should be telling them said, 
where it, you know, the, I mean, we, I, I, you know, Michael's, Michael's got a point. There's negative comments on all the forums, including ours is at it. Um, and we're not going to name other forms because all the forms have had it <laughs> um, with Kinesis and Gomez. Yeah, I mean Gomez is had is separable to at least two major howlers a season. Yeah, Even at Tottenham, it, okay. worse at Tottenham. We know what how bad we can make an make an example of Kinesis's error with the likes of Gomez and even De Gea. And look how awful De Gea was yeah, in his yeah. first twenty games. So. Gomez was awful for Tottenham. Oh, God, he does. I mean, no, the, how many errors did he do? At thing? And look what a great keeper he oh, is now. One of my best players, and he's so brave. <laughs> yeah. So, if that's in defence of, actually, that's in defence of Kinesis. Guys. Yeah, no, no. Um, we, we know he did a howl. He deserves the criticism, but in in equal part, I agree with, um, agree with um, Michael that, you know, you've got to even it out. If, if Gomez comes up with an error, he gets the he gets the criticism. It's just the way it is. And so does Kinesis. But then you move on the next game and say, okay, clean slate. We can't get we can't do anything from that game. He's got to learn from it. And just move on and say, right, West Ham's the next next game. And he's just got to learn from it. And you know, thing is though, it's when you're singling out players yeah, that's the, right. it's, it's, it's scapegoatish. Yeah, um, it's, it's, we, we don't want to rant on too much about this. Well, but, we could, like I said, we, you could easily find the keeper, but like yeah. I said, it's not the keeper's fault. We threw a two goal lead away. We're, no, no. We were rolling that it's, game. It shall I just state, and we, he said this as well, shall we just state that the, the whole game, the whole team lost that because yeah, you can defend, we said defend from the front, stop the balls coming over and causing those type of errors at the back. Even though they, he made the errors or 50-50s, we said 50-50 on two of the goals, made the errors. If the ball's not there in the first place, the errors are not going to be made. As they always say, no smoke without fire. So that's a, like I say, that's a, you know, a slight defence on Kinesis. And the thing is, though, like I said, he's a good keeper and, you know, I'm, I'm still... You know, okay, on the evidence of that game, you really wouldn't want him back in the side. But it's only one game. Yeah, and yeah, like I say, we've, fair, we yeah, we've given you the examples of De Gea and Gomez. And even like Gomez, like I say, he's got two howlers a season, real howlers that you'd noticeable ones. Um, I've seen other ones where it's little ones where he wasn't punished. So you kind of sort of, it goes in the back of your mind. But we, we know what a lot of people are saying with, um, with Gomez. But... You know, let's wait and see. I mean, Kinesis, Kinesis can only get stronger for this. I mean, he's not he's not seventeen. You know, he's a you know <laughs> he's a man. He's, get he's a man who's he's he's a spirit, spirit, international keeper. Yeah, he's if gonna, you get over it, it's been a while till he gets yeah. back in the. Spot. I mean, he's, 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 still, still, get, he's still getting criticism. It's just not that fast in these play, players. Yeah, I mean, that's we. Is the thing is though, they're in the public domain to get to get not to get slaughtered to get criticised, yeah. but then equally when they play well. Yeah, pick them up. Yeah, that's right. Every professional is going to know that. <laughs> and they, they know that. They're not stupid. They know. They know we're going to say, "Oh well, that wasn't good enough. That was that was shocking." But you know, I agree with Colin. Um, you know, we, we he will get a chance. Um, I mean, we all we think Gomez is still our best keeper. Yeah. But I said it when Kinesis first signed that I've heard from other people and I've seen, you know, I'll do my YouTube surfing and I'll look at videos and the guy's a good keeper. It was just like, say, the first touch one was his first, is the howler. You could see, even then, his body language, he was shot to pieces. His confidence was, that was it with him, no, his confidence. Yeah. And in a way, you did feel sorry for that, even though we're standing in the stands, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> pissed and raving that we've conceded the goal and then we're on the back foot. Looking back at it, taking a step back after the game, because at the game, obviously, we never saw this. Truthfully, I never oh. thought this. But you look back at it, and everyone's been in it, even be it five-a-side football up to professional, you make one howler, and you, you want the, earth, you want the yeah. earth to swallow you up. And, you know, this is trying to be, because I, I've been criticising criticiz him over the week, and this is pretty much a bit more of a defence to do, even it out. Do you take a risk, though, and start him? <laughs> Uh, it's hard. Was, it, 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 it must be the hardest spot for any position is the goalkeeper to come on. So I wouldn't mind seeing Batchman, but Kinesis on the a base on if you base it on Give just him a that game and starting yeah. from the beginning. If, <laughs> if you're on that game, if I'm if you ask if you ask me a question, if I base it on the last game, I'd say no way. Yeah. Because of that game, but I, you know, if anyone bases a, a keeper's whole performance on one game, you can say thing. 
Yeah, two or three, and he does the same. He's out the That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I've, yeah. I've set that all and day one long. Is hard. Yeah. That like said, he's nervous. He's come on in the city. He's, he's unexpectedly come on because, yeah. you know, he probably had warmed up properly. I agree with you. It doesn't shock. take from the fact that he pulled a shock and oh, yeah, we, everyone knows that. Yeah, like of said, course. Yeah. Knows that. But, I mean, Watford Steve saying the goalkeeper, and I said to you, the thing is, though, with a goalkeeper, we said this with David Seaman when he was playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put one error as a strike. Say for as, as a strike, if he was Andre Gray, he misses the sitter. He can go back up and score two minutes later. Yeah, like Mr. It's all forgotten. Mr. Richardson, he should have yeah. really banged that in, but he reacted in a better but way because he scored. We, yeah, we forgot about it. Yeah. Pretty much forgot near about enough, it. Yeah. Near enough. We still yeah. say, "Well, you should have scored yeah, that." Really but do, yeah. We say, "Oh, well done, brilliant." Yeah, sorted. Well, zero, you vindicated. Can he just? Unless he pulls off, unless he saves Baines' his penalty, which like he actually, said, fair play, he's got a hand to it. Cleverly scores. He's and a, cleverly he's scores. A hero, we forget about it. Or he pulls off a, a world-class save to, like I say, to make us win. Yeah. yeah. He's basically, he's that forgiven. is it. He's, he's forgiven. forgiven. Yeah. But because the goalkeeper, you make one error. You remember it. it because it's usually, when you make an error, it's usually game-changing. <laughs> Sometimes if a, if a striker misses one sitter and scores two, and they win 2-1, yeah. he's a hero, even though he's missed a sitter. That is technically like a howler with a keeper, but keeper's one is magnified because it's more game changing. Yeah, in, no, no, that's right. in most situations. Yeah, no. Hence the the Seaman Ronaldinho goal. Yeah, if we'd gone up and scored, crazy. people would have forgotten about that. Yeah, because we did it, and it was game changer. People learned back yeah. for it because we didn't. Because we did. If we defended from the front, no matter what, how many goals he let in. We would have won that. Yeah, we would because have, yeah. they they Stuck were the game play. they were down, down and buried at two 0 They were on that their knees. The, they were on their knees at two. They're going to be put out their misery. Yeah, we just went two 0 We said, "What the hell do we do now?" Not at Chelsea. Oh, we're two two one. Oh. Brilliant football. We yeah. came back from one 0 Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. How we done it? The attitude, the application, fantastic. We go two one up. What the hell do we do? Oh. That's crazy. I can't believe it. That's, that is the thing that annoys me with some of the... What do we do with this next squad? Because people are going to be fit. You've probably got pro duel that's fit. But I, I must give a shout-out to two players that were yeah. really... Except, even though we lost, Cabaselli was superb and Brios was absolutely marvellous for his me. Overhead he, kick and his head is, his really. leap. His leap was unbelievable. I don't think he missed a header. I know we lost, but them two were absolutely... I haven't been a big fan of Cabaselli, but this year Paul said, have a look at him, and I've been watching him. He's been absolutely superb. And who was the two people that I'd used lambast all last season? Oh, yeah, Cabaselli was one of them. No, no, it was Britos yeah. and um, Zuniga. Zuniga, well, Zuniga. Cabaselli, I said at Arsenal game. Yeah, he did. He good. From that game on, I saw, I said, I see errors in him, but, but I see a bit Price. Brilliant, too, and, a bit brilliant. I never thought the core would be that good, cool. no, but I said there must be at the time when he, we were going to get rid of him or looking. Yeah, I said yeah. There, mu he mu there must be a good player in there to because that we wouldn't just call nine million for nothing. No. There must be some sort of thing we saw in him. Yeah, he was and luckily terrible. we're starting to see that now. But Cabaselli and Britos, I don't know what Britos eats, but his leap is <laughs> Britos is a totally is, different player. I didn't. Now. Once Gomez went off, where was the communication and the leaders? I think Pro Deal might be taking either Cabasadi or Brittles' place. Like, it'd be Arsenal one of them, but I think we need him back in that centre-back. Do you know what we there. should have done as well, regardless if we held the ball up? This is probably tied in with that. Yeah. yeah. If and think, from the, this is looking at the future. Yeah. Because yeah. Everton's been and gone now, but the, the example still remains yeah, the same with yeah. Everton. Stoke done it to us, Yeah. and a lot of teams will do it to us. When you're ahead... Or when you're in ascendancy, when you know they're in the ascendancy, slow the game down. Yeah, just do whatever you can. They were trying to lump it, put the foot on the ball. I know it's easy for us to connect yeah, from the outside. Yeah, we can see it. Put, the well. foot, put your foot on the ball and slow, dictate the game to them. Play your... And make sure, one, they don't get the ball much. And also, slow the game. On the job, you're 2-0 up. Yeah, frustrate them. Yeah, that's it. They you don't have to score again. Because what ideas, what, I, what team can flourish with no ideas? You know, like I say, with the Akaka thing, with the Akaka thing now, we've learned from this now. We know to bring him on. Not, okay, it was technically 17 minutes to go because we had 12 minutes injuries. Yeah. But not five minutes. To, I know I don't no. want to knock Silk. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah says, but, but he should have seen it. We five minutes to go when we're t when it's pretty much 2-2. Yeah, and they're on the front foot. And they're on the front foot. Yeah. Why bring him on there? Bring him on, like Siren says, at 2-0, especially 2-0, yeah. or at least 2-1. Say, look. That, okay, they've got a goal now. They're in this Tennessee. Let's try and close this game down a bit. Yeah, it's, they do. Was it 75 minutes? 
And something you know, like that. It was about that, wasn't it? Yeah, it was about that. Um, <laughs> but I mean, Aiden, Aiden mirrors what you said just about Britos saying he was excellent. Um, he's he's really impressed me. Oh, his leap was God, he, oh, Jesus Christ, how tall he was young. <laughs> yeah. Right, quickly getting, um, what are we doing? Uh, quickly just throwing the legends talk so we can get in. Oh, God, yeah. Right, um, a striker out of two. I obviously will pick, um, well, you know, obvious one, Pidge, you will say his name as well, so you can pick one. What, Blissett? Yeah, that's my one, yeah. Blissett is my So, obviously, speech. guys, get this in while we're still talking in. If Blissett's one of them for Paul, and that's the same for me. I would chuck in other players, like Gibson, Noel Williams and Tommy Moonin, but you can't really put them in the same class as Blissett. Great players. And... I mean, they could be your favourites. Yeah, like yeah, I, course, put, like I put Ramage, you know, as my mention. Oh, <laughs> No, but you, the, it's the example I put Holdsworth and Ramage as my two players in the team yeah. I know we've done the Ramage mention now but <laughs> you could put if you want you could you could put Tommy Moody you could put even Steve Butler if you wanted to Phillips it's, Phillips mm. yeah Neil Shipley look there we are 94, 95 Neil Shipley on loan one of my favourites yeah. Rosenthal right. yeah Rocket Ronnie you know it's it's your choice you could put either you think the best one most sensible one, or <laughs> you know, Luther's winning at the moment. Yeah. Or Sanjay says Luther with W uh, double O, <laughs> so not Hoofer, Luther. Um, with him as a sub. Pricey, hello, Pricey. I hope you. Um, I think you. I hope you um, had a nice honeymoon. I reckon he's. Had oh, a, yeah, I'm yeah, as bald as you now, Neil. Yeah. Look at this, mate. <laughs> look, what do you think? That's the Neil Price haircut. That's his, his hair when, when he was watching the Everton game. Yeah, where he got it. Just <laughs> like that. This is a this is a Neil Price tribute. <laughs> this is the haircut. So he's put uh, Magic Mo. So yeah. <laughs> He was an actual, he was for a season, but Magic yep. Mo, I mean, he was even better when he left, but he was brilliant for us. But it just proved at that time what the type of player we could yep. get when we had the likes of Magic Mo Johnston. Yeah. <laughs> but the myth of Lufa going to um, AC Milan and thinking they're signing John Barnes, <laughs> that's always going to go. <laughs> and apparently he went there and said, where's the running track? But, you, you know, we, the interviews uh, after interviews yeah. about that and, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Tell you what, one that will never get there was Mick Quinn. I remember him playing for about six games and he came on and gets old him in 94, 95. Yeah. And Phillips is just breaking through. Or just before he broke through. And he was just like... Oh, my God. And he was just so overweight. I said, a Mick, a Mick Quinn, three years before that, I'd take any day because he was still banging yeah. goals in. But that Mick Quinn was pretty much... why he, I, don't, I don't think he ever saw a gym for five years. You know, he was just... <laughs> Right, keep getting your votes in, guys, for that. You know, the legend striker. Keep getting him in. Right, uh, where else? Right, we're we're going back to other games soon coming up. Right, we're we're talking about our manager linked with um, Everton. All right, I personally think there's no moment. chance in here. Yeah, bugger off, Barry. Yeah, <laughs> right, I don't think there's no chance him going to Everton at the moment. There's no he would get destroyed and ridiculed by us. There's no way he's going to go there yet. No. Maybe in the distant future, yes, but not at the moment. No, I don't I don't think he's actually going. Um, he, he won't go. Um, but they're also, I mean, they're a great admirer of Silver. Oh, which is a great compliment to us. And the dice is not going to go now. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about Evan because he still hurts from Sunday. <laughs> Even though everyone knows Everton, um, I've got Evan connections because the indoors and I'm, you know, yeah. I always love Silver the can transform that 65 minutes into a 95 minute team to play that way. We will destroy loads of teams, but he's got to get that in their head. The thing is, though, they said <laughs> on the debate on Sky Sports, as much as Everton, even the, the position they're in, is the, the seventh biggest club in the Premier yeah, League yeah, yeah. in terms of their stature. Why would you go to a team that's moulding in your own image? Counter-attacking, enterprising, yeah, quick. at most times, enterprising, yeah, quick, yeah. very good pass inside, tall, physical, and then goes to a side that's slow, void of confidence, no strikers. And you've got to build that up again. You'd have to build it, and it'd take him probably at least half a season to probably yeah. get him going. The thing is, though, they haven't got time there. No, no, He's no, got time. He's now. with mid-table, Watford. I mean, we're four points behind Everton now. Yeah, we're still ninth at the end of the day. Ninth. Like, we really do well, yeah. you know. And the fixtures we got coming up, a lot of the, well, all games are winnable, but we got a chance with 
six out of eight of them. Well, yeah. all of them, all eight, really, to be honest with you. That's another thing. What? How many? I know lots of people, and thank you very much. The opinions on how many games, yeah, how I've many points that. you go yeah, down. I've seen that. I'm going to go for it. And this is not being too negative. I'm going for at least twelve. I'm going to say twelve. Yeah, I said twelve. Four wins out of, um, out of eight. Um, you may have a one or two draws scattered in that. Yeah. Um, I'll, Someone put Brilliant. 24, I think that was Alan. Sir Alan of Smithshire. Sir Alan, they get that, I'll be very happy. Not Sir Alan Sugar. <laughs> I'm not just saying they won't, I'll be extremely happy if they got 24 out of that lot. Of course, oh. I mean. Look. Not saying they can't. Oh. It's the Premier League. Um, <laughs> we could get none, we could get 24. Oh. Getting on. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I'm just putting it, happen, it, it out there happen, and just yeah, saying yeah. that I do believe we're going to win four of those games and yeah, well, possibly nick a draw, but I'm still going to go for the four wins, 12. Well, two of them are newly promoted teams, aren't they? What's it, Huddersfield and Brighton? Yeah. I mean, Barry, um, the ba Basta, has said, um, you know, it's similar to a similar sort of situation with. Davey Unsworth said about Everton, and it's true to us, really. When they got beaten by Leon, they were good for 70 minutes. Yeah. And then he says it's a 90-95 it's a minute 95, game. You need yeah, to so. play for that whole 90 minutes. Similar to us, we had 65 minutes where we outplayed Everton, but then it was yeah. just, apart from like a two-minute spell when we got the penalty, yeah. it was pretty much, the rest of it was Everton. Yeah, it was, it. yeah it was, they dominated us. It's the same that. principles, but... To us, you know, yeah. we need to play for that. Like you said, we need to play for that whole 90 yeah, minutes. Get that right. We'll destroy... There's going to be a spanking. We owe we get, someone a 4-0. We owe nil, someone so an absolute four or five nil, We, we play... Will there be games where we will? We'll play 90 minutes. Like that. Like that. It's yeah. not going to whole season. We know because no, our no, team's no. not good enough for the whole 90 no, minutes no, for a whole that's season. That's why we buy so many players. You look at Liverpool try to play that way for a thing and it didn't Don't work. Half a you season. Know, Man City out. can play like no. that last season. Okay, it's more chance than playing this season like that. We play like that, we are going to tear teams apart. Oh, we're getting the top 10 without a doubt. Well, look what damage we showed against Chelsea. We could have been 4-1 up. And they know it. Even Chelsea fans, did they say it to you? Chelsea fans Someone said, how the hell did you lose that? You were the best team we've seen right. there so far. But it don't get your points. No. It's great to hear, but you've got to get the points. The shoulda, coulda, woulda. Yeah, don't get your don't, points. Don't it? get us out. And Silver are so exactly the same. Yeah. I do love Silver. He, he says everything oh, a fan would. He I, knows us. He knows the what. And fans we're not doing a Silver bashing here. We're just no. basically seeing what we're saying. Yeah. He just says, uh, we've said this many a times, he yeah. says what we say. Exactly what we're saying. Yeah. And like with Mazzari, even with his translator, and uh, I mean, the other guy, I saw what he, uh, how much work he does for the club, and he, his translator is phenomenal when he was here. Yeah. Um, but... You know, at least he speaks English, <laughs> Silver. And but he's what I mean, by speaking the language, he just says what we said. Yeah, well, no. we could have, we could have, you know, attacked a bit more. Did he? he says that yeah, same thing. Well, like, 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 listen to us. Right. Yeah, um, quick shout out to the Watford ladies. Hello, ladies. Uh, well done. I see you won two 0 at Yeovil. So developmental, I think. Was it? Sorry. Yeah, it's on Sunday. I think. Oh, well done, ladies. Well done. Yeah, well done. Very good shout to you. I will study a bit more on you lot. And we'll try and get to a game, won't we? So oh, definitely. We've got to get to a couple, haven't we? We'll just bring Walker. Or, or How did he do, one. Walker, anyway, on this show? Yeah. How did he do on the show, anyway? Um, put it this way, it's at least 40 minutes was about the ladies' team. <laughs> Only 40? <laughs> Only 40. <laughs> Only 40, Walker we're was talking about. We're to oh. cap that young man. It <laughs> <laughs> would be quiet. <laughs> Oh, well, we said give him 40 minutes to just talking about ladies team and ladies football in general because it doesn't get much exposure. And who better to add than that guy? Thing because we were, thing is though, we, I didn't want two parts last week. No, as no, much as we watched, good. everyone was watching two parts of basically talking about Everton. No, no, wanted, not, no, no. Saturday was just perfect to just relax for a bit, have about 10 minutes of Everton. How the game's going to go, yeah. And just have Walker sitting here, just talking about 35, 40 minutes about the ladies thing and the state of the ladies, um, you know, state of thing. And there's another thing that will probably go on later, you'll probably direct me later, but about um, the ladies pulling out of the um, the Women's League no way. Uh, next season. But What's I'll that? go on that later oh. if you want. But uh, what you got here? Um... Uh, another thing, Andy Scott joining recruitment team, joining as technical director. What's this from Brentford? Yeah, he's going to Brent. He's come from Brentford. I'll oh, just put he? that there, mate. Oh, you can read the comments as well. Um, he's come from Brentford, um, and he could be key from what I've from what I've read in our recruitment. Oh, really? Um, really? With his role that he's doing, apparently he's very sought after. I'm not. I'll, I'll remember Andy Scott when he played. Yeah, yeah. But he's very sought after. 
and you know the players that Brentford have signed in recent years, yeah, yeah. Uh, like the Yotters and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, be it he's gone the Wolves now, but yeah, he's gone the Wolves or he went to Burnley. one of the Yotters yeah, anyway. Him in, um, and we brought him in, and he's going to come in. I'm going to see if I can get some more info on this while we keep chatting. But um, it, it's good that I mean Giraldi's. I think it's one of Giraldi's choices to bring him in. Um, and it, uh, I mean, people bringing people like that in who know the scene, especially the championship, we get a couple of bargains from the no, championship. God, look, at, players, look at Will uh, Hughes. Um, we've got him for next to nothing. Yeah, he he's he will turn in if he carries on the progression like he's doing now, he will be a bargain. Um, oh, well, he played, yeah, like you said, he plays like that every game. He was exactly, he was confident on the balls, you know, and you've got Pereira to come back. To be honest, um, I think Will Hughes are deserving another start. I don't see why he shouldn't start his next game. He was he very hungry. positive. Yeah, he looked. Yeah, he should be hungry. He he was strong on the ball, wasn't he? He don't give the yeah. ball away. He's, he does. He's positive. And the other thing is, he really went back, did he? It was always forward, a bit forward like foot. cleverly. It was he did that derby. And luckily, he's trans yeah. transcending that over to um the Wat uh, over to Watford. But um apparently, Andy Scott. This is from Watford Observer. Yeah. Andy Scott is the strength of the Watford's backroom staff. A surprise appointment, close to completion. Agreement with Common Club um Brentford. So he's on his way. He's not actually joined yet, but apparently he's on his way. Yeah. Um, he's going to join his technical director and work alongside Filippo Giraldi. Um, who holds the same job title, bolstered the club's recruitment. I mean, Geraldi's, you know, we also say, we probably say hit and miss with some of the signings, but Geraldi, in, in in most cases, the signings, there's, you know, he's done well. Yeah, yeah he's, done he's, well he's with good his, to have. He's him, passionate, you know, you know he, he's got a feel for the club, he's done well. And having Andy Scott there, um, who is well known in the, around, you know, the championship, yeah. and like I say, look at, how Brentford are recruited players. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, the last players. few years, around the Warburton time, yeah, they've had some good players. And if he can it's, sprinkle a bit of dust on... Yeah, it's very good by our Pozzo family, isn't they? they? They think in all different directions, don't they? It's not just, bringing Italians It's not just time. by players. It's, you know, all different things from sponsorships to getting different scouts in. They keep going. And under-23s, yeah. they look into improve everything, really, to do with Watford, aren't they? It's just not the squad. It's everything else. And future as well. Yeah. They don't want old players all the time. They want young, bright, up and coming, work with. I think they've you you seen with. the model that they try to do near around the water time yeah. last season and it obviously wasn't working. No. no, no. So they're trying to look at bringing younger... Yeah, which is very the, good. Like long term. It. Yeah, that's it. Long um, term. That's looking way. more long term. And it's Building refreshing. Up. Yeah. And Andy Scott, I'll, I'll be, I'll really, I think Aidan Mullins Marlin, in part is doing a terrific job with the other twenty threes, and with Andy Scott coming in, yeah, and for seeing yeah, a lot yeah, and help, good. it's probably a lot of help for Giraldi because it it takes a bit of takes a bit of the workload off of him. Yeah, and you've got two guys, two good yeah, guys looking, looking at players, transfers, yeah. Yeah, and good. it comes if we can get in now, it comes at a good time just before the transfer window. Yes, yes. So uh, how many do you reckon we are? Signed during the transfer, I reckon. I reckon there needs to be a, at least a couple of new faces, you know, with this family. Uh, they definitely do. I, I think, think Silver will want a couple at least. Yeah, um, possibly another. Possibly another. Would we say another striker because Dini would be back then? Well, they keep looking at this, um, the Leicester one, don't they? What's his name? Silamani. Yeah, that's the one. Well, yeah, we'll they keep showing interest in him, don't they? I tell you what, we missed the trick with Harry Maguire. Oh. Well, I know. Yeah, I know. He's good. <laughs> I mean, Guys, if we we had a chance to get Harry Maguire and Gray, it's roughly the same price. Cool. Personally, Harry as Maguire. much as Maguire, yeah, I'd go, I would have had Harry Maguire, mm. but Gray with his uh, Gray, his work rate is never in question. His attitude and never. The, no, even against Stoke, he what he wasn't at his best, but his work rate against Stoke, he still tries to put in a shift. They always say to you, if you're not going to play well, at least try and run your ass off. And he tried, great tries. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He gets okay. the fans up. He shows he, he's working hard for it, don't he? The fans appreciate that, at least, having a bit of guts. Yeah. Um, I definitely had, like you said, McQuarrie. <laughs> out of the two, I'd have him yeah, McQuarrie. Superb. Yeah, but who would you, what would you strengthen um, uh, in the window? Uh, not the midfield. we got so many midfielders. Yeah. I'd personally buy another centre-back. Yeah, I still think we need another one. 
Well, I'll write I left think backs, but... this is going to be Kabul's last year with us. I personally think. I think that'd be it. I don't want to lambast the guy too much. But no, I slow. like him, but I think that he's he's too he's probably our slowest defender. The only thing that annoys me is. Um... And Crowdill's picking up injuries lately. He's made a glass, and Yamat is as well. Yamat keeps getting injured. Well, here be another one. I think it'd be this be his last season, and all of it. Shame because he's a good player. Yeah, I just think he's just. I, I think he's getting you know that waste of space. Yeah. Same as Ben Watson, he's another one that will oh, we know not Watson's be here next way, season. Yeah. Not a bad player. He'd be great in the championship, and I think Yamat's getting that way as well. Yeah. The class of player we're starting to buy, we're going up. In level, aren't we? Player, players getting better. Look at Southampton. Prodil and um, Kabul look solid. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did look solid. I mean, because they weren't troubled much. We've only won up. No, they're a good little partnership. But it's going to look. I mean, we've got West Ham and Newcastle next, and that that you know we said we said the last two could have been six, six points, and then we, we did get nothing from them. Ones. Um, I'm going three points. Next two games, yeah, three four. Points. I'm going for. I mean, Cookie saying we can't judge Silver now. Which, yeah, that's no, not no, no, absolutely. I agree. Ask him at the end of the season agree. after 38 games. I'm He's agreeing. done well so far. Yeah. yeah. Errors are all made by learning code. Oh, Cookie, yeah, I agree, agree, mate. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like I say, we've, like I say, we don't want to keep going back on Kinesis, but with Kinesis, it's the same thing with him. It's a learning curve. You you get stronger, and I mean, Silver's only really had. He's had less than a year. Is it less than a year? Coming up to almost a year in the Premier League, including the spell at Hull, because he had the transfer very window, impressive. didn't he? He's very impressive. You know, manager. he's he's gonna. It's a learning curve for him as well, and he's. This is a, a position now where he's not fighting. At the, I mean, not saying we would do, but he's not fighting a relegation battle. He's we're at the moment we're comfortable mid table. We're in a good position. Aren't he's we? learning. It's another position. Where do I go from here? How do I develop and move my side and develop it long term? to get us to yeah, where we need to be. He will definitely remember every he call it mistake where it's gone wrong. He will remember all of this. He's, I don't know if he writes it down, but he will definitely remember it in his head. And Like you said, come up with different ideas. What do you do now? We've had this yeah. position before. What we do look I at do Chelsea, we started slowly, and then against Chelsea, we hit them. Yeah. yeah well, so we obviously, he obviously him. looked at it and said, well, hang on, guys, yeah. it's not working. We've, yeah. got to, we've got to hit them straight away and ask questions. Yeah. You know, and get thing. Um, Suggsy's put, um, yeah, oh, well, we're calling the eight games, three wins and two draws. Um, mm -hmm. But Suggsy's put draw West Ham, win at Newcastle. Yeah, yeah, well, I said three points. I could sort of go, I don't think we'll beat West Ham. No. I, I, I don't know, they're hungry now. You, you know, know why? Think... Because Moyes is taking over. Moyes will make, I think it'll be a, He'll play for a draw. If we do win, it'll be a snatch and grab. And if we do lose, it'll be the same thing, a snatch and grab. Yeah. I personally worry about Andy Carroll. I do not rate him one bit. But with our marking, one bad mistake. And he does know where the goal is with his head. I'll give him that. Yeah. And with his feet, to be fair, you know, he can do amazing things. But And, of course, you've got little, um, little Hernandez that's a poacher. He ain't scored many, but you muck about with him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, we learned last game to mark on the edge of the box. Yeah, and then we, we don't mark learned, in the back post. <laughs> but we don't mark the back post. <laughs> so um, we learned one thing. We got the thing one. is, though, that's not, that's not a kinesis problem or no, a defence no. problem. That was been haunting us for the last two, oh, three God, years. Oh, God, this season, yeah, no, um, yeah, that's, yeah, that one. That one, even though we we said that that goal was in a 50-50 with the defence in kinesis, yes, yes. that problem has haunted us, like I say, yeah, for the last just two that years. Keeper, is no, yes, that's, that this is not like we've been basically just only... Just pound it out. <laughs> yeah, if we just only conceded two goals in the last two years with set pieces and then that, that howler yeah. came up, <laughs> um, then you could question it. Yeah. But no. That's that's an underriding problem that Silver, to, to his credit, is trying to address. And you know he's not stupid. You know he's trying no, to address no, it. No, but it no. still haunts us. Yes. Set pieces is somewhere that, no matter what coach we have, is <laughs> causing us problems. He's never going away at the moment. I bet he works on that a lot in training, set pieces. 
I yeah. bet he has them working on it, but obviously, like, you know, training in a match is two different things. Yeah. <laughs> well, what was Steve said about that, um, regard, uh, regards um, West Ham, like I said, Moyes will set them up to defend. He won't want to lose that first game. No, He'll he take a boring nil-nil. Yeah. Nil, and a also, new right. manager, fresh ideas, yeah. players want to play for their yeah. play for the show. You know Lanzini and players like that are going to come out fine, because Lanzini's pretty much their best player at the moment. Yeah. Really, the, in terms of form. I mean, you saw in the last game against Liverpool, yeah. The well-taken goal he scored. That is going to be... And I think we've actually got Alan coming on the show on the Sunday. Oh, really? He's okay. going to come fresh from the game. Oh, OK. And he's okay. coming on. So we will definitely confirm that. But I, I know Alan's actually on here now. So See, it's, uh, it could go another way. Like we said, we get an early goal, which I can't see because they're going to be so defensive-minded. Yeah. That could be the spanking you're talking about. <laughs> we their heads goal, seem to be. go. You know, Liverpool beating 4-1 Liverpool, I could see... Their heads a go if you can get that. But you get one nil down, you're in for one hell of a fight. You're in for a long day. Like the Stoke game. It'll be a Stoke game. Yeah. It'll be Stoke it will again, be a Stoke game. Dominate the ball. Yeah. Not to get the end result. But our team, our team will be hungry. It'll be killing them and to wait two weeks to play the next game. I, I they will be dying to play. No defeat yeah, comes at the right time. No, no. But it could be the right time. Yeah. Because we've got two weeks now to kick think, start them again. Yeah, we get. You probably get in Kinesis in for more training in certain areas. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can work yeah. on that. Um, chat with Gomez. Have a two weeks ago, Gomez gets gash sort of. He'll be back. Buddy. He's already said he, he, he's expecting him to be it was back. Was a shiner, weren't it? Cool. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Um, but let's see. Plus, they're going to be hungry to get on that pitch. Yeah. And I have to say, I hate international break, but I also think that's come at the right time for Watford following that. I think some of our players need a bit of a rest and the knocks. Yeah. But you're coming on with Charleston, a lot of people reckon he'd be um, knackered because what do you say? He's, he's, you know, he's been playing a long time. He hasn't to me, play. he didn't look... Well, he didn't look tired to me. <laughs> the, the wonders of youth. Yeah. Is what yeah say. Well, you His know. youthfulness, his exuberance is... Going, coming through. I think that can pull you through a lot. When yeah, you're yeah. The two weeks are doing well. You know, he's only young. Yeah, he's got two weeks of rest now. The thing I like, I say a lot about him. He, he missed a very good chance. I don't know what happened. It, you know, he's running at a good speed, but it didn't phase him, did he? He come out second half within twenty. Was it thirty seconds we scored? In the mm. second half when we come out, thirty forty seconds, and he's the one that scored it. He didn't dwindle, going, oh, I've missed the chance. You know, he, he gets on with it, and knuckles down. Yeah. You know, he does miss a lot of chances, but fair play to him. He reacted in the right way. And his reaction when that final whistle went, oh dear, I don't know if you saw him, dear, oh dear. He was a bit like us, not happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, Graeme, Graeme Sturman said, it, you know, it could you could t flip this international break around and say this could come at a worse time because Moyes yes. has now got time to work with West Ham. True. Yeah, so you can that's look a good at it that way. Yeah, as well, that's, a point as well. that, that's a good point as um, well. That's a good point. But, you know, he's both ways, he's, he's probably equaled itself out where Silver's now got time to really drone in what look he... Look at the last do game. Do not do that. Look at last game. Yeah. yeah. Or, the, like they say, like Gray's actually said in an interview, he'd rather come out straight away and play Tuesday night. Yeah. Get it out well, of the I could understand that. Let the anger out. Get a, get a win, change it, and then the confidence gets up. Wednesday home. night or so, and or the following week, and just get it quicker. Yeah. quicker get a win out quicker than... See, in some day. ways, that's right. But in some ways... I think I'm rather and wait two weeks. They're gonna it's gonna build up. See, gonna if we win, up. if we have a really it good worked. performance yeah. to win, it's worked. Yeah. If we if West Ham come out we lose playing like boys plays teams to do and defend and get a counter attack in and win one yeah. nil, it's the wrong yeah. it was the wrong decision it was the wrong way. Yeah. So I think really we we're, we're gonna First, know we're gonna find out. We're going to find to out. To be honest, this is how the game would go. We're at most of the ball. They're going to frustrate us. And it's a matter of us breaking them down. Yeah. And us defending properly. Like I said, they nick a goal. They're going to throw their bodies at absolutely everything. Fall on the floor. Pretend they're injured. All the same tricks every team does. Yeah, well, what the Stevie boys turned around and said about, um, was it Prodo and Pereira coming back? And um, obviously Shalabar further down the line. Well, Shalabar is... Um, We've got nine players out, they reckon. All good players. Uh, All good players. Exceptional players. Yeah, this is not excusing I, the fact I that we would lost. Personally you know? put Pro Deal in, even for Brit or Sakabaset. It's harsh on them too, but I think we need someone commanding that back four. But with with Gomez and Pro Deal talking a bit more, I think it'd be Cabaselli and Pro Deal. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll go with that. Either Brijos and Cab one of them two get dropped. Either way, it's harsh on both because they're both well, good. If Cabaselli needs a break, then put Cabal in. Yeah, yeah. Because Gabal and Prodil look solid against Southampton. Yeah, but it's only because like Prodil said, was last night in like it. anything. I, I wouldn't put I wouldn't put um, Gabal in to be honest with you. I mean, um, and Pereira, to be honest with you, I do love him, but I'd start him on the bench because I think Will Hughes deserves another game. Mm. Yeah, Will Hughes yeah, has got to start. Pereira is good stuff. I think Will Hughes should start because he was near enough playing in. I think now we've got to wrap Prodil and Cotton Wall and just say, look, let's. Bring you gradually in now, rather yeah. than starting him straight away, because it's just it's almost. All like, right, then start with Bretos and Cabaselli. Yeah, because they were good. Will Hughes starts. Have Prodil and Pereira on the bench. Yeah. It's near enough the same squad that start. Actually, no, I will go against that. I will drop Gray for a Kaka against West Ham. Yeah. For the strength wise up top. Yeah. Mind you, how did Carrillo? Or well, if we go ahead, seven? if we go ahead, then bring him on. Just see, you know. I don't know. How did Corello play against Everton? We've got. No, sorry, I'll, I'll correct myself. I'll drop Corello because he pulls out of so many challenges. He looks scared half the time. I put Gray on the the right, Richards on the left, and I play a Kaka in the centre, holding up. That's what I'd do. Yeah. No, I mean, I'd drop Corello. No, I, I mean, Jim's said good. You know, oh, cheers, mate. Good point, lads. Yeah. Um, good point, lads. Nine. Mine plays out and still playing higher tempo stuff, yeah, which we yeah, are, yeah. yeah. If we had a, um, if we'd been smarter, we would have taken seven points the last three games. So, you know, we're still yeah. playing the football that Silver wants us oh, to do. Yeah. And we've still got, not better players, but we've oh, got good players yeah. coming in um, that will improve. We could have, it will improve oh, make us. Our squad incredibly you know, stronger. It won't, it won't make us weaker. No, no. Put it that way. Mind you, looking at our bench, it looked very... Weak, didn't it? Like you said, because of these injuries, you get all them back. It's one hell of a bench to have, and you've got yeah. every player you can turn to: Pro Deal, Cabal, Pereira, <laughs> Shalaba. Mm. God, listen to that! It's magnificent to hear, isn't it? It's I mean, Kaka, Dini, Dini weren't even playing because he was suspended, weren't he? So it's, look at the squad. We have it's got ridiculous. One of we yeah, have we got have. One of the team. And whatever we um, bring in in January as well, which we will. Yeah. Well, I'll see, I'll see on. Dave Quick and everyone else puts it up. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, we're linked with Dave. about, God, bloody 10 more, probably more players. It's like, oh God, who's, he, who's this one? Who's the amazing? Like I said, with Andy uh, Scott coming in, um, he's gonna that's not going to weaken us, but no. that way. Any, anybody like him, a well sought after recruitment guy like him, I know we've already touched on it, yeah, but it, it can only improve us. Yeah. It can only improve us, you know. Um, Sirin saying, drop Carrillo, um, a cack and Gray up front with Richardson. Yeah. Gray on the right. Oh, um, sorry, that's what I meant. Sorry, I was yeah. getting mixed up. Sorry. Yeah, it wasn't you could put Gray on the right, and it's an option. But I'll tell you what, you imagine if we got, um, just this is just for argument's sake, you imagine we get Penaranda, got his passport, oh, and he turns up in January. He did it in the end. He did it. Carrillo is a, still a very good yeah, player. Yeah, that's right. just the last two games. He's gone off the ball the last couple of games. He just pulls out of challenges. Mm. He looks, not scared, but he don't look sure. It's like, oh, I don't want a bit of that challenge. You know, yeah. he's a bit like that, which you can't do. I mean, Wayne, Wayne's turned around and said, um, I was Britos, I like you probably said, he's agreed with you, with the best defenders. He reads the game well and leads from the back. He's late. Prodil looks, we said this, again, even against Stoke and the other teams, he looks to try and play out. He tr he's not being hasty yet. When, uh, how many times did you see him play a, long, a ping long ball? Who, Breitos? How many times against Everton did you see him ping? Just, just to be honest, with, he might have blasted one, but that was only because he's under pressure. But besides that's that, different, yeah, that's besides different. that, no, not really. <laughs> it was one where he chipped it. That was probably the longest. Yeah, no, that, that, a, that was a pass, like you said, though. That wasn't a lump hit. No. Hard, was it? The clear, that was the pass it probably won yeah, yeah no, <laughs> that, no. the problem is that is like, like I said I'll go back to uh, the Chelsea game that's what Silver's trying to get into him I, I, I did defend him because he should have lumped it I do agree but I know yeah. why he didn't lump it because we were losing 3-2 he didn't want to lump it and give the ball away which he did in the end and they scored yeah, the but that's the sort of way Silver wants his defenders to play. hindsight's a lovely thing yeah it is, it is. Yeah. we all know what it went wrong and should have done it but he wants all his defenders to play that way don't he, he wants them to do the five-a-side pass 
passer move, and yeah. you could see it the way we were passing, weren't you? All of them, Flamino, he's confident, whole bass. Confident, even Cabaselli would try. He didn't really blast it much, to be honest with you, either, did he? No, he was doing he was doing midfielder runs at times, weren't he? he was running past their blooming strikers. Yeah, so positive. I'm I mean, not used to seeing. I mean, positive. while we're talking about forwards, throw this in with our legends thing. Probably looks like Blissett is going to get into our legends team, <laughs> but we can always yeah, it's a shocker, <laughs> but we can always change. Um, best two for, forward strike partners. Um, we've probably gone through this weeks ago, but. They have to play in the same era. So what was the best front two that we played? Like, you, you got Beadle and Phillips. I mean, I'm just throwing one out there. But you could have other ones. But with the best forward combination, sure. uh, give us those ones as well. But it looks like, um, well, Graham said, um, going off topic a bit, Yeah. Um, how would people feel about having Danny Ings come in um, with Newcastle looking to sign him? Personally, I'm undecided, but must have wondered what everyone else's thoughts are. Um, a fit Danny Ings, I'd have every day, any day, personally. Yeah, no. Problem is, we've got to get him, he's got to be fit. And, yeah. okay, a lot of it's bad luck. Yeah, the problem is, we, you know, it's a waste of time signing him there. No. He's just unfortunate. He ain't a bad player. It's not. He's just he always, did. it was the point in buying a yeah. player that's gone to the injury. He's just unlucky. There's no point having that player. His, his injuries are products of very bad luck. How many um, games is he going to play for us? Two, three, then out? A fit Ings, if, oh, we, if he says now, right, my injuries are behind him, would you sign him? Having, yeah. I, no, as a fourth striker. It's a no him. for me, I'm afraid. He's just unlucky. Not a bad player, just... The way it is at the moment, I'd say I'd say no because of injuries. Yeah, that's the only reason. But if someone said to me, would you have had Danny Ings, and he's fit, fit he's not going to have an injury coming. like he has, I'd have him if Because he knows where, where the goal is, yeah. and he's another workhorse like Gray. The only thing is, him better than Gray is he'll score you more goals than Gray, I reckon, that he is. He's got the potential to yeah, do it. Yeah, he I seems mean, to get in the right position. Burnley right struggled time. to find a real true goal scorer ever since yeah. Ings did yeah. go. Um, OK, they've got Sam Folks now. Yeah. And um, they've got Chris Wood. Yeah, who's um, um, he's very, another one he's he improved. Look yeah, he looks, yeah, he looks pretty good. He's doing all right at the moment, isn't he? I think why, why Silver probably at the time he wasn't 100% available. And also, he, he wanted a player in grey that could fit his sort of way. To style play, of yeah, play, hard work in attacking. Pressing speed like that. Grey the bill, yeah. Um, you know, the guys, are put, I mean, I think we're not going to really have a debate on the front Blissett, two. Yeah, it's Blissett right. and Jenkins every yeah. time. I think I think we're never going to, we're never going to have another one. Well, so you get the, the next vote on Sunday. Marlon yeah. King and Henderson, that's another one I'll throw out there. Not the best one, but that's another one. That was a good partnership. Very good partnership. That was, that was, that was excellent. Yeah. yeah. King was exceptional, and so was Henderson. Yeah. Yeah. Right, um, obviously, just shout out, a shout out the usual plugs. You've got, remember, WD18, boys, they have their podcast, they have their vlogs. Go to um, you, go to YouTube, type in, and Twitter, WD18. Like, share, and subscribe all their videos. We always post as much, or shall I say, Dave Quick posts mo as much of their stuff on <laughs> it. Um, obviously, Retro Rewind on Sunday, hopefully Sunday. He obviously didn't go um, this week, but... Mr. G, I met you at the services <laughs> on the way there, mate, uh, while I was getting a cost. Yeah, yeah, so that was that him, was it? That yeah. was him, that was the Mr. G himself. Yeah, quite a few people come so, up. Yeah, can, yeah, can I say thank you, uh, and I'll let you do that. No, well, you can, go on, mate. You, but thank you ever so much. Every single person that came up to us and stood with us, chatted to us, told us what we needed to improve on, tell us what they liked, tell us what we should have talked about. And yeah, no, it's absolute pleasure, guys. When if you ever see us when we eventually get to another home and away game, <laughs> um, <laughs> please by all means come up to us. We're not going to bite your head off. If you think there's something we need to do, or you know something we need to add, or you just want to stand and chat to us about the um, the podcast and everything like that, you know, honestly, please do because it was great fun bumping into people and having a chat with them. You know, <laughs> very, you know, it's yeah, great. It nice. that it's it's chatting with people. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Nice. Face to face rather than over the computer, even though it's like I said, the <laughs> amount of comments is absolutely outstanding. Oh, yeah, it is, it is. But it is very good standing with some of you guys that we haven't met before and putting names to faces. So, you know, faces to names. So, cheers very much. The other thing, guys, is we always welcome guests here. Obviously, you chat with Paul Moore because this is his place, but 
we always welcome guests here and we you know we love having you on here and we love having you on the sofa and get your opinion about up and coming games and talk about legends your favorite moment you know it's great to have it don't matter what age we we don't care we just have you here won't we sir yeah if you don't want um duncan or mick on the sofa almost every other week <laughs> please guys if you want to if you want to come on here and um like i say D dina says just chat away just um message us on the forum just post on the forum and say right because we know we've got alan lafwell coming after the west ham game so he's already yep. sorted for two sundays time um but a, a, you know if you want to come on this sunday if you want to come on next thursday i mean next thursday we will really need some help because it, well, because we're previewing. Well, we've got we're the West Ham. Well, I mean, we'll, yeah, we we'll talk um, about West Ham next week. Yeah, we'll definitely. We've got West Ham. We'll talk about next week. But Sunday, if anyone wants to come on Sunday, <laughs> you're more than happy. If not, you've got me, the young man, and Mudinho here. So, <laughs> and England um, aren't playing that day. It's tomorrow, thank the Lord. So. <laughs> yeah, Michael. No, Michael. Yes, you did, mate. And um, Michael's the one who came after the, after the Stoke game. Um, ranting away no <laughs> yeah no michael we do remember mate and no no pleasure mate it's a pleasure chatting with you rant away mate yeah, rant right. away because yeah, you'll probably we'll right. probably agree with you every time mate that's how uh yeah so <laughs> um go on mate why else throw it out uh what else am i thinking well, the next one to be after that is Newcastle, isn't it? How do you think we'd... I don't want to touch too much on the subject, but how do you think we'd do with that away? Newcastle, um, I'm looking at drawing, uh, drawing against West Ham purely because it's at home. I really do hope we win and we'll <laughs> beat Newcastle. You reckon we'll beat them, do you? To I that atmosphere. 2-0, yeah. I mean, look, we went there a couple two seasons ago and beat them. Yeah. yeah. Iggy scored the winner. What did that? They're a good team. I, they, I won't, they don't worry me though. But at home, at their place, they sort of do. It's, a, we just it's don't just their fans get behind them. You know, it's the problem is they turn. You know, the best way of doing that and get yeah, them quiet, score, yeah. score and get them quiet because they weren't that. They weren't in that with them. You know, the last time I tell you, um, you know, they, we 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 did make them quiet. Yeah, we did quiet them down on that one. Um, you know, oh, can I just say, um, we've got, we've put this up, I know we've put it on the form, I know you can't see on the webcam, but um, Christina Chambers uh, is missing since the 5th of November. Uh, yeah, Christi yeah, she's, um, we've put, we'll put a poster up on the form, I know all the other forms have done it well, like Cursing Hornet, Enjoy the Game, uh, 1881, all that lot, they've put it up there. If you've got any information, um, please call or text 116 triple zero it's free 24-hour confidential line it's the missing pe missing people ad that we've put up or i put up because i've seen it on the other forms says i know dave quick put up something as well <laughs> um but she's 27 years old um you know i, I know a lot of guys uh, guys and girls have um know her or have seen of her at the ground so if you've got information yeah, for I'll christina watch. if you've seen her whereabouts or even if you know it get her to report back um but we've given put the number on there the number complete call or text one one six triple zero so um oh, yeah. i'm you'd say it's not what for related it courses what for related and if someone like that someone we know has gone missing or not personally but i know some of the guys out there watching this know her so yeah. or knew her of her yeah, yeah, no, think so. definitely, no, it's very serious. Yeah, I didn't want to leave it too late, but we obviously go put that out. Like I say, all the all, all the information there. If anyone knows any any information, please share it because then we know she's safe. So anyone who goes missing is things. Yeah, let's hope no. it's you know, let's hope she gets. Oh no, no, let's hope she gets found. Let's hope she's all right. Right, mate, you. I've thrown out something about the women's ladies thing controversial thing do you want to read it mate or no you can mate what's it on here well, yeah. apparently he says announced controversial plan to you drop out of the mate. women's super league into the third tier um contra yeah it says slips um press heavily yeah in this buzzy phrase is vibrant and active community-led offering but no one at Watford ladies was fooled the real news was that their team was effectively dead says it <laughs> a club called Watford ladies will still exist but it will be an amateur part-time outfit operating in a regional league basically what this is about um from what i've read today um they usually apply they've got so much time to apply i think november i think yeah. just touched upon this um last saturday 
Um, I don't think they've applied. Oh, and oh, they won't be in the league. Pretty much won't be in the league next season. This is what, from what I'm gathering. That's why not applying. Yeah. I think they have to apply to get yeah a spot because there's no uh, relegation sorry. or promotion. Oh, um, yeah. So if we get any more information, we'll touch on uh, this a bit more. And ask Mr. Walker. I think Walker yeah. will probably have to summon, <laughs> put out the bat signal, the and get guru. Walker back on it. Yeah. <laughs> the ladies and, guru. The ladies guru. Um, <laughs> yeah. Apparently, um, yeah. The Watford ladies, the club Watford ladies will still exist, but will be an amateur part-time outfit operating in a regional league, not the current one that they're in at the moment. Um, it bef- uh, come on, which performs in the women's super league. So one thing includes international players and has women's FA Cup winning manager. Um, the news, a shock to the unsuspecting players and coaching staff, came just three days before the deadline. Of the WSL clubs to apply for, so like I say, with yep. the thing in November, FA's revamped competition. Those involved say the club had promised it would be applying, and the players were recruited this season on the understanding. So I think apparently it's been leaked. It's been leaked out as well that there's been a lot of people, a lot of a few of the players saying there's been false promises. They've been told there's going to be a long-term plan yep. on the women, the uh, WSL league. Um, Keith Bonas told the Independent, this is from the Independent, so, you know, take it as you will, but this is this has been a various uh, news sources. Yeah, no, so it's no. not just like the sun or something. No, no, something it's the or, Yeah, it took me much as surprised as anyone. This is Keith Bonas saying this. Um, I had been retained on the insurance we would be applying. I'm severely disappointed on behalf of the players and staff, which basically means if this all goes belly up, which we really hope for God it wouldn't have been, but we're pretty much going to lose most of the players. No. The, those players will go to other clubs, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, it's understood many, I won't go too much on about it, because what we'll do is we'll find more facts about this, and um, Sundays and Thursdays we'll elaborate on this even more, because we obviously, we want to report on the ladies, we want to report on the youth play, uh, youth teams. Um, it's understood that many players found out from the press release while preparing to attend a meeting at which they were to be told. Their reaction can be best summed up in a tweet of the highly... This is from um, Helen Ward, Wales's record goalkeeper, the most high-profile player. She, um, she tweeted, 280 characters still isn't enough to say what I really want to say right now. So it's, um, so it's best I don't say anything at all. Um, she's been at Watford since the age of 23. Only returned in August, encouraged by plans and ambitions of the club. So... Um, it's the risk of the FA's latest initiative seeking. This is the pulling out. I'll go for the finish off with this. Um, it's seeking to raise overall standards in competition that's increasingly dominated by three clubs, which is Manchester City, Chelsea, and Arsenal. Yeah. The FA have mandated all WSL one clubs must be a full time as of next season and run academies. Um, okay. WSL two clubs would be part time with some full time support staff, but would need to go full time if promoted. So that's pretty much what I know. That's pretty much what I've read out. And that's what I read. <laughs> uh, that's, I wanted to read it out as well, even though I've sort of researched this back because I didn't want to come on here and <laughs> just, just, just go, right, this is what happened. But yeah. I wanted to read from the press release and other things I've said, but it's disappointing, shall I say. Yeah, it's um, a silly mistake, isn't it? It's very dark. It's, it's Someone's... sad if that's what's going to happen. But, um, you know, it's a silly mistake someone's done, yeah. isn't it? It's not odd. It's a... Yeah, I mean, what Mick? Honestly, mate, you could go on to go on to the forum about that missing per, about the missing person. Um, sorry, could, could completely. Um, we've got the name up there, all the numbers. Like and share, or even just right click if you really can't share. If you won't let you share it, right click it and save it on your computer and just put it back on and put it on your wall, not just the forum wall. No. Um, yeah, Watford Lake. Graham says Watford Lady players in during the summer providing WSL print and Super League, and they came in due to the poor results this season so far. They've decided not to, which is what, which is what he's heard. So basically, because we have not really performed, and it's probably yeah. it looks like a big step. They're probably saying, well, it's not worth it, even with the summer recruitment. Okay. So. There we go. That's the women's bit. Right. One more thing. Where does Silver go from here? Do we keep playing the way we go, or does he be a bit careful for West Ham? You know, play a bit differently. No, we've got to have a plan B, but play the way we are. Yeah, keep There's just go wrong. see how. It, well, not see how it goes because we know it's exceptional. Not too gun but just when we go two 0 up, or when we're, when it's nil nil, we've got to learn either to break teams down more effectively. Yeah. 
or I mean, I'm not going to say stop playing the way we. No, because we love it. If it works, if we have won that two three nil, he's a magnificent. Like it's a yeah. ninety minute game. Well, we said ninety five. We 95. say ninety five nowadays. Isn't it? It's a ninety five <laughs> yeah, yeah. game nowadays. Yeah, um, we need to um, make sure we see our games and just play. We play all the game like that cool. we will win games because we're pushing them so hard yeah, the pitch win loads. Oh. the ball's down there and they ain't gonna go towards us no. so yeah no on my quicker the short answer <laughs> that is no carry on playing the way yeah. we are but just be sensible in key parts of the game well, like you said it he had two nil he knows he will learn silver isn't a stupid man far from it yeah he will learn he'll go right we're in the same position as everton How's this game going this time? Right, they're lumping it forward. Right, let's, like you said, let's bring someone that's going to hold it up now. Right, who have I got? A kaka, right. Let's take Gray off. Let's swap the, like you said, the play about. He's learning. He's, he's got to learn. He will learn. He's, he's not stupid. Yeah. He's a, the players are learning. He's a, yeah, the players. Like I said, the players are learning. Young Richardson's learning. They're all learning. They're, there's still a lot of young players in this. Well, I right. think what we can probably... I mean, I'm not sure I speak necessarily for you, but we're probably most people would probably agree is Everton's finished now. We yeah, can't get away from it. We can just pick the pieces out of it. It's gone, yeah. yeah, pick the pieces from it. Look what we can learn from it. We've got two weeks to radica- eradicate it. Yeah, Even okay. though people, most people say the best way to get back from a, to win is quickly. Yep. Straight We've got away. two weeks. Just take the positives from it, learn from it, and become a better side because of that. Which the last two games, yeah, yeah, or last that. three games, last three games, three losses out of three. The only way, the only way is up. Yeah, he learn is, from them. We know what we're, well, we know what we're doing wrong. It's not a cloudy area. We know what we're doing. Yeah, that's wrong. right. Yeah, that's. Uh... Like I said, we're, we're, we are, what we, ninth? It's still very good. It's not, you know, it could be worse. We could be Paris. Or Swansea. <laughs> or Swansea that are right in trouble. And, you know, we're, we're, we're sitting. So even it's Everton, comfortable at the moment. It's even be Everton. Even who, Everton, yeah. Who, even though they're out of it now, but they're still in a bad place. They're still there. They're still not 100% certain, even though they've got the great, uh, even though they'll say to them, it's a great win against a very good side. Which is a compliment to us. To us. A lot of teams are saying we're a big side now, which is a great compliment. We're taking it seriously, but I'd rather be in our position than them. Yeah, I would, yeah. I know it's not a lot of people say, oh, look what we were like five years ago and all that sort of no. stuff, the hindsight thing. But we look at the positive way. We're we're in, like you say, we're in ninth. We're playing good football. Yeah, we just need be to it, be it, correct little bits. A few little yeah. Two tweets, tweets. In there. Yeah. we'll be in the top 10 absolutely we will I'm not be even we'll near yeah um, um, yeah definitely i can't see why yeah and like you said everything's improving we're getting scouts in better scouts to improve our squad every year and yeah now they are you know it's positive we we've had the everton bit now i was and another thing on everton i had it and I, a lady had it some fans moaning that i was negative and a lady had it yeah. it, it might be negative you know it wasn't absolutely ludicrous but we, this was at two all i had a fella moaning at me because we went back to the i think was it two all were we losing well look i, I, I don't s- remember i i had a guy at him because he won't let me have my own opinion i told him to shut up in a i said that's a polite way i've been very to a fan but i said i've been supporting them well, I've been supporting him. Yeah, been... You won't be negative. I would have said, I told you. Yeah, I, I, would. I was I only told you. I was annoyed, let's say. I was, you know, it was magnificent football for 65. Then this is a 2 0, and someone passed the ball back when we should have gone forward. And I told this bloke to shut up. That's a polite way. And and a young lady had it as well. No, she weren't young. She was an old lady. She had it. And all she, she came yes. to us and said, Did you don't... have Did you have someone um, having a go at you just because you said this is not good enough? Yeah. No, we no, didn't no. say. You know, like, you know, cleverly your no, no, shit or anything like the that. The penalty was shocking, but it wasn't that. He, he worked no, for example, yeah, yeah, no, we just said it, this is unacceptable. Yeah, it weren't ruling any player out. That was I, honestly no swear was deleted out of that. That's what we yeah, said. Yeah. And I think that's what you said. This is unacceptable. Because yeah, what's your beef? Yeah, no, I said, that's well, what, what you game said. are you watching, mate? Yeah, we were two 0 up, and it's two all, and they look like winning it, and they yeah. did. Yeah. And he goes, what do you expect him to do? It's, oh, yeah, all right, mate. <laughs> but Watford Steve has pretty much said what we were saying, that, you know, the thing we've got to learn is either if we can't defend as well as we can do, we just attack from the get front. Another goal. Defend from the front. Yeah, get another, get another goal. Get another goal or yeah. just defend from the front. Yeah, that's it. And just yeah. press them. Defend 
pretty, you might as well just put our centre backs out front and just say defend like that. Yeah, and no, just make right, sure yeah. we don't come back there. Pretty much. If we we're going to be that team, we defend from the front. Play attacking football. Yeah, you Teams that defend, like we do, always suck up pressure yeah. and nullify the shots. Yeah, we're a team that presses from the front. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. We, we press try from the front. Like football, football, yeah. we? We try. So you keep the ball up. There. To be fair, it worked for sixty-five minutes. You know, it's uh, like I said. Well, as we've said it four times. Uh, they just need to. He needs to get that into them for ninety-five minutes. Yeah, and they're. I'd be confident we could beat every team then if we could play like that. There's no team in that league that could. Yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't give any trouble. Daniel's just... just said, sorry, mate. Daniel's yeah. just said, thanks everyone for sharing Christina Chambers' post. It means a lot to me at the family. Daniel, it's yeah, an absolute yeah, pleasure, right, mate. Well, mate. not in the. No, no, no. <laughs> to mention it, yeah, not in the. Yeah, yeah. No, please, right. please, please, please them, share mate. people. Share it as much as you can you know um we don't really want to post stuff like that on the forum because no. we don't want people to go missing but if anyone's missing like that a one share by us is the minimum we can do yeah, so cool. honestly Daniel, she's safe mate. Pleasure, she mate. Turns up, yeah. yeah that's she what turns up safe, right. that's what we're concerned yeah. about she's alright i think that's pretty much yeah it, that's it, that pretty much else? is it mate that's it for now i'll say no, and you can end the. No, no you, we'll let no, you go. <laughs> but guys, we're on. Look, obviously, on Sunday, um, we'll do a non-league. We're doing not a long league roundups um, on Sunday. Obviously, a lot of international bit. We try not to get through the internationals as much <laughs> because it's just as England. I know. I know Carillo's with Peru. Um, we've got about five Hornets on, so we'll try and get as much there. We'll get the lone Hornets done. We we'll do. We will throw a few surprises up on Sunday. Hopefully, um, me, the young man, and Moobs. Um, <laughs> like Moobs says, tell everyone, even the milkman. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm not going to try and read that. Especially the milkman. Yeah. Yeah. Um, guys, and also thank you very much. You get your comments are coming in. Like so, every time it's all it's great. So it is, we all really do appreciate you saying it's a great show. Yeah, you guys make it a great show. Um, and so does this young man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. um, but guys, please share, share, share. If you want to go on the forums, we don't really want to broadcast it too much on our forums because a lot of the guys that uh, admins on our forums watch this show anyway. But if you want to go on anywhere and just say, look, guys, if you're a Watford fan, watch this podcast, get in the in the debate, keep sharing. The forum is growing all the time. We've got uh, 610 already under a year now. Yeah, so and also the debates from all of you not just news from the mr mr quick himself <laughs> debates you guys are all starting these up so at the end of that it's your forum your debate you know we all know we all know we're not silly on uh, i'm not saying all the other forums we know we're not silly on any of these forums let's get let's just get debates going if it's your opinion share it let's get let's get talking especially on the especially on these as well Let's get talking. Let's get let's get our opinions across. And like I say, your debate, your opinion. Let's yeah. yeah let's get exactly let's that. get let's get talking. That's how we get the that's how we get the podcasts um, rolling. Well, let's get talking. Put your stuff over. Anything you want to add. If like I say, like Dino said, if you want to come on, Sunday is free. Next Thursday, if you want to come on with a preview show um, before Saturday. We'll do that. And also, what we're going to try and do on, I think it's Sunday is the game. Sunday is the game? Yeah, it is. It's on Sky. I think it's on Sky. It's Sunday. Four, isn't it? yeah. yeah, that's it. Sunday is the game. What we'll do is we'll do a half-time um, chat in here um, for the game. So what we'll do is we'll try it anyway. If you think it's a load of rubbish, we'll just take it off and we'll keep the Thursday and Sunday business going. Um but yeah, just keep sharing, guys. And from the bottom of my heart and his as well, obviously, thank you ever, ever so much. So that's, uh, that's pretty much what I think, yeah. mate. Go on. That's it. Yeah. Thank you very much. And no matter how negative I may be sometimes at games, I will, well, same as Paul and every fan, I will always support this club. Whether we be 5 nil up and cock it up, we're pretty much Watford till we die, aren't we, Paul? So, yeah. So... It's goodbye from him. <laughs> it's goodbye from him. <laughs> it's the young man. And we've got his free kick wall. Link, yeah, so I'll throw you that as well. <laughs> but um, well, you, you've been beautiful. We've been TMA. <laughs> Good night, lads and girls. <laughs>